Uh, welcome to whatever this is. Um, you probably remember it in the first episode. Um, I was going to build a guitar around this pickup. It's a guitar workshop pickup built in 1980 uh, by John Birch. Uh, it's called a Fan Cobra. Now I've only got one of them, so I'm going to build a single pickup guitar. And I don't really want to use like a Telecaster body or a Stratocaster body or a, or a, a Gibson or something like that. Um, so I was racking my brains thinking, what, what can I use? So I thought I'd ask my friend Bob, Bob Raven. Bob, uh, I want to build a guitar, single pickup. I don't want a Telecaster body, don't want a Stratocaster body. What do I use? How about a Fender Toronado? Right then. I suppose I better build a template. I'm just cutting the uh, template out with the bandsaw. Not much really to be said about this bit, um, except I'm really just showing you that I did it. Um, not a lot of skill or tips or any advice that I can think of. Um, yeah. Just cutting stuff out in the bandsaw. Could have been doing something else really while you were watching this. New Smile album is very good. I mean, give that a listen. Or, I don't know, maybe find out how to grow your own wheat. That'd be quite useful at this stage. Now I'm just uh, finishing off the template using the um, sander. Bob and Sander. It's very loud, very confused, especially when you have the Hoover turned on as well. Sorry, just extraction. Uh, turned on as well. Right, so I've got my template done. Uh, it's looking well, very happy with that. Um, now it's time to make a body blank uh, out of the world's most boring piece of alder. So I'm just um, marking out the center line on my uh, alder blank. See, alder, that's really boring, that wood. Alder. Um, and I knew it was like dull, but I didn't realize it was that dull. It is. I'm just cutting out the outline now from my from my template onto the uh, onto the blank, and then I used um, a template, a Stratocaster template, to get the neck pocket. And I'm just sort of hugging out some material there with a drill press, and I'm using my hand router to um, to route out the neck pocket using the um, using the Stratocaster template. Then onto the bandsaw and just um, cutting around the outline of the blank. I actually went round the outline just with a washer on the on the bench just to leave some extra room because I'm going to have to route uh, the body using the template uh, with the fabric on it uh, with the fabric top on it, and um, it's better to leave some room just to, to leave it overhang a bit, um, and I should have a nice smooth. Uh, edge on it then when I write it. Okay, as you can see, I've now got my body blank done. Uh, it is very, very boring. Alder is incredibly dull looking, so I couldn't really make a guitar just out of alder. Fender and uh, Fender make most of their guitars out of alder, um, Telecasters and Stratocasters and stuff like that, but they usually paint them. Um, and it's usually, instead of one big piece, either, well, actually this is like three or four pieces glued together. Uh, fenders are normally loads and loads of ugly alder all glued together and, uh, and painted and then lacquered. And, uh, but it's cheap, well, well relatively cheap. 
Uh, so I don't want a boring guitar. Uh, what I hinted at in the first episode was that I was going to uh, cover it with something. Uh, I mentioned st uh, uh, snakeskin. And so I'm going to put a, a snakeskin top and back on this guitar. Now I've I really done myself no favours here. If you live in America, um, you know, snakes are very easy to come by. You're probably tripping over the fuckers every time you leave the house. It's like, hello, Mr. Snake. Um, not here in Ireland. If you know your Irish history, uh, you'll know that we're famous for not having any snakes because uh, in the fifth century, some beardy fucker came over and got rid of them all. Uh, his name was St. Patrick. And uh, we, we didn't even want snakes gotten rid of. We quite like snakes. We were like, Pat, could you not do something else? Maybe get rid of poverty or uh, disease or something like that. And he was like, no, I'm doing the snakes thing, uh, you know, because he gets something into his head and uh, yeah, there's no talking to him. So uh, that's what he did. He went on with the, the snake thing and uh, then said, well, I'm now going to be the patron saint of Ireland. Um, so here's Christianity for you, motherfuckers. And uh, you can't have anything nice anymore. No more fun. And uh, we're going to take all your money and screw your kids when you're not looking. So um, that was St. Patrick. Thanks very much. St. Patrick's actually buried about five miles down the road from here. Uh, I was going to go and film this bit there, but uh, you've got to pay money uh, to um, to see his grave or to, to stand near his grave. And I'm not doing that because fuck it. Um, right. So snakeskin, hard to come by in Ireland. I went on to Etsy and actually you can find some snakeskin. And here's the issue. I have a guitar that is this big and snakes usually are about that wide. So I would need a couple of snakes to cover this guitar top. Now you can't really book match a snake. Um, and I can't really email people and go, well, have you got two snake skins from brothers or clones of each other or something like that? Uh, that's not going to work. So you would have a number of snake skins that didn't really match up. That's going to look crap. And, uh, and snake skin is actually quite, uh, quite, quite thin. So uh, what I had to do was go onto Amazon and buy some snake skin fabric and um, it was really cheap um, I got a load of it it's curtain material so I'm going to cover the guitar in this uh, snakeskin I should just thank also uh, Matt from Texas Toast I uh, emailed him about trying to uh, get um, some sanding sealer that I can use uh, when I glue this fabric onto the top of the guitar and onto the back. You cover it in sanding sealer. They use Simtech sanding sealer. I can't get Simtech sanding sealer here. And Matt suggested that he emailed them for me actually and they said they either would be happy to provide you with a uh, Simtech sanding sealer. It might cost a little bit of money uh, to be sent over from America. Just email them and they'll do it for you. I emailed Simtech. In fact, I emailed Simtech twice and uh, they didn't reply to me. So, fuck Syntec. Um I'm going to use chestnut acrylic sanding sealer instead. I've no idea um, if this is, uh, is going to work as well as the Syntec, but, you know, beggars can't be choosers, and uh, I'm just going to have to see how this goes. Also, in the next episode, uh, what I'm going to be doing is, is building uh, the neck for this guitar first. We're not going to be going gluing stuff on, although that looks like it's going to be loads of fun. Uh, I have to build a neck first, and this is why. What Bob Raven neglected to tell me was that Tornado guitars have a 24.75 scale length. Now, normally all the other fenders, okay, there's a couple of exceptions, most fenders have a scale length of 25.5. Uh, this has got 24.75. I don't have a neck template for a fender type guitar. 
that has a 24.75 scale length. So what I've done is I printed out the template for the Tornado neck and I put my Stratocaster template over it. And to be honest with you, as you can see by the photo here, there's about two millimeters, three millimeters maybe in the difference. It's not a huge amount um, from, where the, from where the nut sits. So I'm just going to put a Stratocaster neck onto this with a fretboard that is 24.75. Um, and then once I have that made, I can adjust the bridge on the body accordingly and have a 24.75 scale length because I would actually prefer uh, that sort of scale length. I could have made it just with a, with a normal 25.5 scale length, but uh, I actually like the 24.75, so that's what I'm going to do. Anyway, um, I think that's it for, uh, for this episode. Um, yeah, can't think of anything else to tell you. Right, fuck off. <laughs>